Uh, yes, so um, that is the uh, beginning of the end of the protest. We had the preview last night and tonight was press night, which, um, as you can see, um, lots of people here. It's gone down really well. I thought it was wonderful. Um, and I thought it was traumatic and hopeful and beautifully acted, beautifully written by Andy Sheridan. I'm really proud of him. Um, yeah, I came out a little bit worse for wear, really. Um, you should definitely, definitely see it. I'm sorry I'm not being very articulate. It's kind of like made me feel a little bit spaced out. I thought that it was extraordinary tonight, actually. And it started off and I thought... Because it says in the programme that he wrote it as a kind of exercise to see if he could write. And as the scenes built up at the beginning, I thought these are sort of really tight, um, powerful scenes. And they sort of ricochet off each other somewhat, but I don't know where it's going. And, but as it built up, the, the nuances between them became something. And after all, what, what is it, any play but a collection of brilliant scenes like that? And I thought by the end it, it had something so I, I hadn't seen before actually about kind of the connections between people and human cruelty and but beautifully done and beautifully raw and very economical and well done. Sorry. It went as well as it possibly could have done. The actors did everything they could have done. They they hit all the right emotions. They played everything they could do. Um, everything came together. The technical side, the acting side, the directing side, the writing side. Um, and I think genuinely people really enjoyed it. So that's really cool. Okay. I think it's an extraordinary uh, play in some ways, actually. Um, extraordinary in its understanding, I think, of, of what it is to be human and how painful that can be on occasions, and how delightful it can be on another occasion, and how actually we hard it is sometimes to say uh, I love you. I think the play really is about a boy growing up and about discovering that he has an intelligence and actually he in the end realises that he's bright, clever and he finds, he does find a way to say I love you right at the very end. I mean the play it has to be said is not fashionable. If you want to see a play of ideas then and actually, I think this play is profounder than that, it's cleverer than that, because it understands something about what it is to be a human being, and that is universal, I believe, and actually probably changes very little from generation to generation, and I think it would be interesting to see how other people find the play. Um, but I think if you're prepared to listen to it, you'll get a lot out of it, I think. So um, it started off two years ago when I was in um, my bedroom, sat at a desk, tapping away on my computer. Wrote, wrote a scene, wrote five scenes, sent it into Bruntwood, and everything had happened. Um, and it's arrived tonight, two years later. A lot of work by everyone in this theatre, you know, everyone who works upstairs, backstage, actors, actresses. Everyone's been absolutely amazing and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be more thankful. Um, without wanting to be kind of sycophantic, um, I've got to thank Brumwood as well. Thank you Brumwood. Thank you Royal Exchange. It's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you.